Hello and welcome to another self-help video presented by Planet Cutting Edge Solutions. In this video we will be looking into the process of changing standalone licenses between different computers in Cabinet Vision version 11. Since the introduction of the CLS license system, the process for changing keys to different computers now requires the key to be activated on each computer if the key being changed was not the last key active on your specific computer. An example of this would be if I am using a drafting key to draw my job and now wish to use the production key to send my job to the CNC, I need to activate my production key on my computer with its correct server code. I do this by following these steps. Firstly, we need to close down Cabinet Vision and we need to locate the CLS License Manager which can be found in the common folder of either the Planet or Cabinet Vision folder from your C drive. Depending on what version and build of Cabinet Vision you are using, you will need to select the correct CLS folder to open. I am using Cabinet Vision version 11 build 168, so I will be using CLS 2018.2. Once you have located the correct folder, you will need to move through the folder until you find the CLS license manager file or the licenses.exe file and double click to run it. As a time saving option, if you require to change over your keys regularly, you can right click on the CLS License Manager and by using the Send To area you can create a shortcut to be placed on your desktop. Once I have the CLS License Manager open, I can see the last key that was used on my computer, regardless if it is still active or plugged in. In this example, I can see that the last active key used on my computer was a keyless license and that it has been revoked and is no longer active. I can tell this by the symbol next to the key line in the active server preview window. The green tick indicates that it was the last active key and the warning symbol indicates that it is no longer available. To locate my second key or different keyless license I need to check for any additional keys that are present in my computer. We do this by searching for additional standalone licenses from the server tab at the top of the window. As we are searching for a standalone key or keyless license, we navigate down the list to the search standalone and select this option. Once you have selected search standalone, the license manager will look through your computer for any available keys or keyless licenses and return a list of possible products as well as any other licenses that have been activated on your computer in the past. If the key number is known and the license has been used on the computer previously, we are able to select our required key and by selecting the Change Active Server option to the left of the preview window, change to our required license. Once we have selected this option, we should see a pop-up window confirming we are wanting to change our license. Select Yes on this pop-up window and we have now successfully activated our correct license for production. This is confirmed by the green tick next to our license line and of course once CV is relaunched I can see that I am no longer using Drafter but a full production Ultimate Ultimate license. This concludes this self-help video on changing standalone licenses between computers. We hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.